The madness no doubt continues in the NCAA tournament Elite Eight matchups yesterday. The final game between two schools from the soon to break apart Big East and a David and Goliath matchup more commonly seen in earlier rounds. In the nation's capital, President Barack Obama in attendance to watch Marquette battle Syracuse. Start of the game and Vander Blue, who carried Marquette here, doing what he does best. Golden Eagles lead, but not for long. Brandon Trish slicing through the lane with the layup. Hughes would go up 18 to 7. End of the first half and Devontae Gardner with the Jag. Golden Eagles into the locker room down six. Coming back, Marquette trying to make a run. Blue under the basket with a nice reverse layup and one. He'd make it a three-point play to bring Marquette within four. They couldn't close the gap. Under seven to play, Golden Eagles shooting just 23% from the field. Blue with the miss. Trish just as the James Sutherland for the slam. And Marquette's tournament run coming to an end. Held to just 39 points, an NCAA tournament record low in a regional final since the introduction of the shot clock in 1986. The Golden Eagles, simply put, were outplayed. They have great athletes. They're really long, athletic. Uh, they cover ground really good. Can't live and die off the three-pointer when you're playing them. And they're, just, they're, they're really good at what they're doing. As well. They beat us from start to finish. We collectively tried everything we knew to try. Um, we're disappointed uh, that we didn't have an opportunity to continue to play. But uh, when we get beat, we get beat. And I thought Syracuse was great from start to finish. So Q's the first to advance to the final four. And later in the night, Ohio State with a seemingly easy task facing ninth seeded Wichita State. First half, Ron Baker with a baseline three just off. But Shockers getting the offensive rebound. And M.A. Arupe lands it down. Wichita State 13 at the half. And Sad Mata is not happy with the refs heading into the locker room. End of the second half, Buckeyes battling back to Sean Thomas. Down low, lays it in and brings them within four with just over two minutes to play. Final 25 seconds. So Quentin Ross puts up the three, but no good. Evan Re Revenel will put it up, but it's blocked. And the aptly named Shockers shocking Ohio State 70 to 66. Wichita State punching its ticket to the Final Four for the first time since 1965. So today, four more teams looking to join Q's and Wichita State in Atlanta, including the lone Big Ten team, Michigan, who will take on third-seeded Florida. Tip-off for that game is 1:20. Tomorrow is opening day at Miller Park and the Brewers with their final dress rehearsal yesterday at home against the White Sox. Second of two with the Southsiders in the first, Ricky Weeks launches it up and out. His third this spring, 2-0 Brewers. Skip ahead, tied at four, bottom of the eighth, and Logan Schaefer with a solid base hit to center, and Sean Halton scores the go-ahead run. Final for Miller Park, 5-4 Brewers. The team is off today, and tomorrow, Milwaukee will tee it up for real in the home opener against Colorado. The Bucks playing host to Oklahoma City last night. The Thunder are the only team Milwaukee has yet to face this season. First quarter in Ersan Ilyasova with the putback jumper and the foul for three-point play. Bucks within five. Second quarter off the mystery. Russell Westbrook to Kevin Durant down the court. Oh yeah, where the dunk. And Bucks lose by 10 to the Thunder. That's it for sports. Have a great Easter.